question. Um, I think this can just be to the both of you or either one of you can just quickly deal with it. Um, this one is regarding um, a home, right? That has a gas stove uh, with piped gas uh, from two small bottles on the exterior of the property. Um, the landlord um, has advised that she will be taking uh, the bottles and the new tenant can actually purchase it back from her. Um, so the question is, what is the general general accepted rule about gas bottles? Um, so is it a matter of um, the tenant and the landlord going back to the lease, taking a look, or if what the lease says, or if the landlord does remove the gas bottles, is it actually uh, a matter of spoliation? Or is it actually a fickle issue where a gas bottle is almost 250 or however, and they can have a conversation about it and come to a conclusion? Gentlemen? Yeah, so so I think I think the, the question is what is the generally accepted rule in, in relation to gas bottles? And my my answer in this particular circumstance is there's no generally accepted rule when it comes to gas bottle. Um, it, you know, this this property and and how the property functions is going to be different to, to whoever else. But um what what is interesting in this particular case is I, I think what's really important is how the property was advertised to the tenants in the circumstances okay that's going to be very critical because if if the property was advertised in a circumstance where basically the tenant saw it and the, the landlord said look i don't provide gas bottles you do that yourself okay that might be a circumstance where this this is reasonable and and the tenant knew when they were contracting what exactly they were letting in the circumstances okay but that doesn't seem to be the case here. It seems to be that there were gas bottles that the tenant was was given, you know, the, the impression that gas bottles were going to be supplied with the property. And the landlord has now elected to take them away for whatever reason, because they want to now be paid for the gas bottles. That That's very tricky because if the landlord created the impression that this property was going to come with some sort of amenity and they've now changed it after the fact, um, they they may well be in breach of the lease agreement and or, as you mentioned earlier, the, the simple fact that they're taking away the use and enjoyment of the premises may result in some level of spoliation in the circumstances. Um, there's, there's a very, you know, spoliation is a, is a complicated sort of process that we go through the courts to say that my use and enjoyment has been, um, you know, has been of the property has been taken away. And there are debates over this every single time, you know, a spoliation happens with it is or isn't spoliation, but there's a risk there. And for the most part, as a landlord, you don't want to get in a fight, or well, landlord and a tenant, you don't want to get in a fight in a spoliation, you know, a fight about spoliation. It's a it's a costly process. Um and really it's it's just it's not the proper way to, about going about things. Uh, but my real my real question here is what was the impression that was created by the landlord at the time that they let the property um, you know, if if it was the property was going to come with gas bottles or whatever the case is, then uh, it's not in the landlord's power to simply take that away at some point during the lease agreement. If you know the landlord advertised, look, I don't provide gas, but there's a gas stove, you're going to provide the gas or whatever in the circumstances, then it might be reasonable. Renato, I don't know your views. Look, I agree with you. Um, I, 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 the, the funny thing with gas bottles is it's not something that we 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 commonly uh, see disputes about. But the bottle in itself versus the gas inside the bottle, those are also two different things. So, like the actual provision of gas is almost like paying for electricity. So the the tenant would be responsible for refilling. And because gas bottles are typically refilled, they're not replaced. Or rather, you don't buy gas bottles in full. You just put the gas. So now the question is, is the tenant expected to supply his own gas? Yes or no? Okay, well, in that instance, then he's expected to take the bottle, get it refilled, put a new bottle there. So now the landlord taking a bottle away doesn't make any sense to me because in my mind, the bottles have been replaced. So he's not actually removing the bottle that he put there. So that that would, in my mind, be tantamount to, to spoliation uh, because he's removing some. In fact, it doesn't actually even technically be long term. So one would have to kind of wrap their heads around that exchange and who the bottle actually belongs to and who owns it. But I would say that the removal without any sort of consent is definitely spoliation. Um, then, then the second step is obviously you look at the lease agreement and you say, look, if the lease agreement, in my opinion, is silent over the gas bottle, I would go so far as to say that it is that 
that it is of that it that it comes with the property because it, it is it's I wouldn't say that it's a fixture, but it almost feels like it's a, a, a container for the supply of something that the unit requires. And by virtue of that, you're leasing the property and you're leasing the gas bottle and the right to replace the gas bottle. Um, so if it's silent on that, I would probably say that you would have a right to claim that a gas bottle is there that you can replace as long as you never replace it with something of subpar quality or whatever the case is. Uh, so it's a bit of a strange scenario, especially because of the exchange principles behind it. Uh, but if the lease agreement is expressed on, no, we don't supply, there's a gas stove, but you do your own thing, then technically that bottle belongs to the landlord. And even though you might get away with a spoliation application, uh, you yeah, you shouldn't be fighting the landlord on something that belongs to him. And remember, gas bottles also aren't necessarily very expensive. So uh, in cases like this, I'd probably say that also consider the nature of the relationship. Uh, you know, this is not a good position to be in, um, you know, from a landlord tenant relationship, especially over like 600 Rand for a bottle, 300 Rand for a refill sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. And that, that does bring us to the end of today's episode. Uh, thank you again to our viewers for watching and our agents, both of them, um, for always posing us with questions. We're always happy to engage, give guidance, offer advice. And we'll be back um, next week uh, with another series of questions and answers. Thank you, everybody. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Excellent.